Sony and Microsoft doing the same thing, getting you to buy in, to buy in, to get you on the hook. I'm going to show you things, and this is going to be a way to finagle the system, to gate games without paying. I'm going to show you how you can finance your gaming hobbies without even worrying about it. And finally, a game of service drops down to a price that's supposed to be. I never want to see this game die, but apparently we don't game anymore. A lot of dudes just want to see games be canceled and fail before they even get a chance to mature. It's a weird climate out here, but we're going to talk about that right Peace and blessings and welcome back to Xbox Frontline News with your boy, the King. Oh, man. This New York City heat starting to heat up really good, man. If you're on your way to the city, understand it can get a hot for you out here. You know, got to dress appropriately. Blessings. You know, but it gets hot out here. So be careful. Be careful where you go. <laughs> You get different for you. You can change it a heartbeat for you, you know. But I'm saying, come one, come all. Have a ball. But like, follow, and subscribe. Now, I was talking to my boy today, right? And he was telling me, he was like, yo, King, you don't have enough of your personality inside these videos. And I'm like, yo, a lot of times we're reporting on or I'm bringing you news of companies just folding up people being terminated and, and stuff I know these people and that's not stuff that you want to report on that's not stuff that's good that's, that doesn't bring a level of exuberance out of me to be honest with you you know me looking at stuff like that you gotta figure out a way to, to word it with having respect for the people that lost their livelihood because right now in this economic crisis is crazy in this video today I'm gonna talk about ways to finesse the game in order to get your gaming on Right. Understand that right now, you know, dudes is like, you know, capping a lot. Let's say you're paying seventy dollars a game. I'm going to show you how to do that. Right. But understand how I'm going to tell you to get to it. You got to be able to get to it. It's on you after I tell you how to do it. But um, he told me to, you know, put my personality into the video. And a lot of dudes hear me talk about Calvin all the time, like Calvin messing up, Calvin doing this. If you watch Iron Lord's podcast, I'm always talking about uh, Calvin. Calvin got the project. And dudes never who understood who Calvin was. Calvin was one of my best friends growing up when I was a kid. And Calvin was always into something. Calvin always did this and Calvin always did that. When we worked in Kentucky Fried Chicken together, me and Calvin did some stupid stuff. Me, him, Mo, Mo Blind and all of us, we were just out there being kids. You know, um, so we got stories for days. I, I got stories for days. But I miss my, my my friend, you know, haven't seen him in probably like 30 something years, maybe. But uh, Calcutta, if you watching, you know, anytime I give a reference to Calvin, it's a reference to you because I got stories for days and he's hilarious to me. Me and him used to play double dribble on NES. And we used to stay up all day uh, playing double dribble. And then when I first got my Turbo Graphics, he was the first dude like I ran to to show him, you know, uh, Keith Courage in, in, in the adventures of whatever, the adventures of Keith Courage or whatever it was called. But he was the first dude I ran to to show him that, you know, because uh, we were gaming for uh, forever. So shout out to Calvin, you know anybody knows now y'all know the genesis of calvin and who calvin is and what that is about and then i have more calvin stories i got a ton of calvin stories man calvin's crazy um <laughs> but suicide squad kills the justice league now 
I was under NDA to play the game, and I played the game, and I loved what I played, right? Not like I got enough bandwidth to keep playing a whole bunch of multi-service games, but I thought the game was dope. I thought it had different characters doing different things with different traversals and all this other stuff, and the world was appropriate for what they was trying to get to you, and I didn't think that the characters, the, the villains was too spongy. I thought it was a really good effort, and they can build on it, right? You know what I think killed Suicide Squad? Kills the Justice League. What I think killed Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. What I think killed them was the price. Yo, twenty nine ninety five, thirty nine ninety nine, thirty nine ninety nine, mm, twenty nine. Perfect price point. And it seems like Warner Brothers kind of figured it out right now, right? Because they have to drop the price down to the game because nobody's playing it, and it's not Suicide Squad's fault. There's a good base level game there, and then you add stuff as a game of service, but you got to let it get up and running in order to achieve all the goals because they're not going to give you everything all in the beginning. So, you know, you have to know that going into these games that they do have a plan and a roadmap, and sometimes that plan and roadmap changes depending on the level of success or no success that it has. And I don't think that this game was given a chance. I thought it was talked down from... Um, writers, uh, reviewers, I thought it was talked down from a ton of people because I have a lot of people that I talked to that was reviewing the game itself, right? And a lot of them was completely negative on it. And the only crux of their negativity was it's not an Arkham game. But you you got Arkham Knights, and you, you ished all over Arkham Knights because it didn't have Batman, but it had Batman in the beginning, right? So you, you sit there and you say... They damned if they do it and they damned if they don't. I'm a comic book head. Those characters mean a lot to me. So every time dudes say something like that canceled Spider-Man game, uh, the multiplayer, that stuff means a lot to me because I like to play those games. I'm sorry. I like superhero games that I get to play. and And I, you know, dibble and dabble. I did all the Arkham games. I did all that stuff. And that stuff was really cool. But... And I did all the Spider-Man games and all of them. I'm talking about from before Wolverine and all that other stuff. It's just my character to play comic book character games. And to see that people are talking about, oh, they, they're happy that the Spider-Man game got canceled. I would never wish that. That's not something that I wish. And, I, and Warner Brothers is going through a tough time. They have a lot of good IPs. I wish they would get picked up by a larger entity that is able to sustain those IPs that they can get those games out because I don't think those games need to die because they are unsuccessful in marketing, pricing, and how to do a, a better strategy. There is a good underlining game there, and hopefully that game can get inside the service like a PlayStation service or Xbox Game Pass and live through the service. I think services resuscitate games of service that don't have a fan base. Those things are necessary. So here's hoping that the game doesn't die off and the game does get some legs and get some life. And, you know, hopefully it does get into one of these services where it can actually be beneficial to the ecosystem, to the community. I don't think less superhero games is a way to go. I think more superhero games is the way to go. Because somebody brought up the Avengers, and I was like, well, Avengers was good. It was just poorly implemented. If you went through the story, the campaign, campaign was fire. It was absolute fire. It was a Marvel movie fire. But then you got to the multiplayer aspect of it, the games of service aspect of it, and that was poorly implemented. It was just a cash grab, and you can tell immediately from the beginning. So apples and oranges don't mix the two. But the next topic, I'm going to tell you how to finesse the game. I'm going to show you. This is the video where I'm going to show you how to get to the bag in these games. This is crazy. And if you never did it, I'm going to show you how to do it. And this is how you play with other people's money in order to fund your fun. All right, class is in session. Time to explain the finessing. <laughs> so I did this hustle. I had this hustle for a minute. And, you know, a lot of people 
probably don't know about the hustle. A lot of people don't use the hustle. I use the hustle all the time. All right. So the first thing that you got to do is you got to get yourself a Discover card. Right. And I got a Discover card with, you know, uh, benefits, platinum benefits. And what you do is you take the, the Discover card and you buy everything. You, you get rewards. Right. You get cash rewards back. Excuse me. And you buy everything with it. Like if you if you pay rent, you pay your rent. If you got mortgage, you pay your mortgage. You got car note, pay your car note, insurance, everything. Pay everything through that. And you pay that card back. So let's say that you do have cash on hand or let's say that you do have a debit card. Don't use your debit card, all right? The debit card is not going to give you back as much as um, Discover does. Discover be running promotions time and time again. And what you do is you go inside of Discover and you uh, hit the app and you press all the promotions, all of them. You go out to eat, use a Discover card. Everything that you do, you use your Discover card. Pay your Discover card off. At the end of the month, usually what I get back every month, I get back 100 to $150 in cash back, right? Now, what I do is I take that cash back and I, and I uh, zero it out to GameStop cards. Get the GameStop cards. Now, you send it, right? Um... It's like usually you get for like uh, it's like forty dollar GameStop card or something like that. Whatever the price of the GameStop card is, you get that back and you get it back damn near double. To be honest with you, you get that back and you get the GameStop cards. Now what you do with the GameStop cards is you go in with the GameStop cards and you buy, let's say the PlayStation um, bucks, right, or the Xbox bucks. You buy those. They usually give you. Five dollars or ten dollars more if you buy the package with like five cards in it and you get like five to ten dollars more. Whatever. Take that. Now you just seen how you just turn your money into double. Right. So now you probably got at least two hundred dollars. Let's say if you had a hundred dollars, you got like two hundred dollars. Now you buy your games digitally on whatever platform of your choice. But you see how cash back paid for your your hobby. Now you're not taking your money out trying to figure out your, how I'm going to get this money to do this, that, and the third, right? And you use those, those bucks to buy your games. Now, let's say you buy your games. Now, with Xbox, and I'm going to tell you with Xbox, what you do is when you buy games through Xbox, you accumulate points. Now, if you're doing that finesse in what I just told you, now those are free games that you're getting. You're doing the same finessing that I told you. You're buying digitally through Microsoft. So you go through the Microsoft store, you're buying digitally through Microsoft store, right? Now, I know this is, is counterintuitive. You know, we keeping Kong alive. PlayStation dudes, quiet. Don't listen. This is Kong will die. This has nothing to do with y'all. Boot on your neck. Now, anyway, back to what I was telling you, Microsoft dudes. Listen to me. Microsoft is going to give you points. And those points is going to give you free money. What you do with that free money and those points, those reward points, what you do is you pay for your game pass. You understand? So monthly, you're paying for your game pass. So you got all these games, hundreds and hundreds of games. You got that. You got your free games that you got from your Discover. You are funding your fun. The finesse season is in. Now, for a lot of you dudes that don't have uh, the ability to have a Discover card, right i'm going to give you a couple of other options that is going on right now both sony and microsoft is doing a mastercard or so i think sony is doing visa and uh microsoft is doing mastercard cards these are cards that specifically with perks to each console right so if you have a playstation boom get that and if you spend 60 dollars within the first uh, 30 days, you get like uh, 365 days, you get a year of their service, right? And then Microsoft, you get reward points for every dollar that you spend, you get points towards that. And then that goes into what I was telling you with the game pass and stuff. So both of these dudes is using credit cards as a scheme to lock you into their digital service. I mean, and it's ingenious in how you look at it in a rotation off a card that is going to funnel your fund to get you into the digital service to get you to purchase and to keep you moving. I understand exactly how that goes. Now, those people that are fiscally impaired, 
that you guys, you guys that are not responsible. This could be one of you guys first cards that can get you to that level of responsibility and understand that you just don't go out and max out your cards. You spend within your limits. Everything has limits. And you keep it within your limits. You gain within your limits. You party within your limits. You spend within your limits. You don't go outside of your limits because that could lead to bad situations, right? And I know you're looking like King. You're bugging. You're talking about this and you got all these statues and all this. Listen to me. All these statues funded they self. Be honest with you. Be keep it a buck with you. Um... Like right now, I got to trade that Green Goblin over there. I'm doing Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles is going to be wild crazy. PCS and Ninja Turtles, one-third Ninja Turtles is going to be phenomenal. Got Raphael coming, got Don DiTello on deck, and then um, Leonardo didn't get released yet, and then Michelangelo, they're still in the sketch stage. But I'm get all four turtles, and then I'm going to get the last Ronin turtle with the last Ronin with his fam with the, the brothers around him. And I'm... Uh, um, and I'm going to get that uh, that trade paperback, you know, to display with it. I, I just think that that story is phenomenal. But back to the financing and the savings. Yo, just be fiscally responsible with that, anything that you do. You know, I'm a watch connoisseur. So a lot of times you may see different watches and stuff like that. Always stay within your means. Try not to go outside of your means. Try to stay in, in, in a warehouse where you can be effective and efficient. You understand? So always try to get games on a deal. Don't try to run out there and try to be the first at it. If you ever notice, I'm never trying to be the first at anything as far as, far as video games goes, because I know there's going to be a bargain. PC dudes got it. They got that on lock. They got all types of things. As I'm working with the Steam, the Steam machine, the Steam Deck, I'm seeing the deals that they got. Always gain within your budget. Stay within your means. Don't let nobody faint you out of position always stay focused well this is the part in the video when i'm gonna tell you to like follow and subscribe and i'm also gonna take that logo and i'm gonna throw it over there for those dudes that's fiscally responsible and i'm gonna tell you try to play the game pass